Hi everybody. So this is the face that I make and I can still taste it. I had applied the silver diamine fluoride on myself and you might be wondering why would you do that? Okay. It tastes horrible. Okay. Ugh. But if you don't know what this is, okay, this stuff is like magic in a bottle. I love using it for my practice. But when I went to the dentist, there were some watch areas and suspected decay on one tooth, maybe even two teeth. So my three, six occlusal and four, um, four, six occlusal. Um, and I'm in denial. I don't want a cavity. No, thank you. Um, just no, you know, people don't want cavities and I'm a dental hygienist. I shouldn't be getting cavities, right? But I'm that person where I have very deep grooves in my teeth. So I don't know if you guys can see, I'm going to show you my teeth. If you don't want to see, then fast forward. Okay. So let's see if you can see. Not really, right? Okay. So I'm going to take some intraoral photos later on and show you guys. Okay. So anyways, I have deep grooves and I'm worried that I have cavities, but what I want to do is I had applied silver diamine fluoride to help to kill that bacteria that's possibly causing the cavity and to seal that up so hopefully it doesn't get worse. So silver diamine fluoride is a temporary fix and I'm the perfect case. You know, I could watch those areas or I should say the dentist can watch those areas. I go back in six months, they have a look to see if it got worse or I can be proactive and put some cavity killing liquid that tastes horrible on those areas to hopefully penetrate deep enough, kill the cavity. So then when I go back in six months, the dentist says to me, oh, well now everything's perfectly fine. Because you might notice that when the dentist is checking your teeth, they check with the Explorer, right? If it's sticky, you kind of go, oh, Oh, if it's not sticky, but kind of looks like a cavity, that is when we watch it. Even if it's just a little bit sticky, we might go, oh, we'll keep an eye on it. But again, I want to be proactive and hopefully kill those cavities before they get worse, okay? Again, I had some watch areas. I had possible cavities, but they're so tiny that they didn't really want to do anything about them. But I obviously don't want my little occlusal cavities to get worse and possibly become a two surface, right? No thanks, nobody wants that. So I applied silver diamine to myself. Now I know what it tastes like. Oh my God, I swear I can still taste it. But remember, for those of you who do apply silver diamine fluoride to your patients, make sure to apply a regular varnish over top because it tastes better and it helps to seal things in. So that did really help. So I did apply this for about 60 seconds. I let it kind of air dry. I was kind of doing this the whole time because I could taste it, right? But I'm trying to stay open for myself. You don't want to swallow it. I'm spitting into the sink. Then apply this over top, which is what I did. I used a little micro brush for the silver diamine fluoride. Sorry, guys. Let me show you that. So see how it's really tiny? And then I had used a regular brush for the fluoride varnish. So does everybody see the difference? So the blue is for the fluoride varnish and the micro brush is for the silver diamine fluoride. Because remember in some of my other videos, it turns the area black. My intraoral camera is a perfect example. I somehow got some silver diamine fluoride on my intraoral camera. Notice how it's like brown, you guys? Yeah, I know. So you have to be very careful. So that's what I'm talking to you guys about as well. Once you are done, your micro brushes, your like your dappen dish that you had used for the silver diamond fluoride, put them all in your gloves. So yes, I did keep this. So when you're taking the gloves off, sorry, there's there's like stuff in there, but you guys can't really see, can you? I don't want to dump that out. Oh my gosh, I'll get like black marks all over my desk. Um, put it in your glove and then throw it out. Okay, I'm touching it because it's my own saliva. Okay, just in case you're, you're wondering, I didn't just pick out, out this dirty glove. It's my own saliva. Back in the garbage it goes. That's the best way to keep everything contained because what happened with my intraoral camera was I likely wasn't thinking, talking to a patient. I'm done the procedure, but I didn't take off my gloves. I had just used the same ones. I probably had some wipes on hand and I started wiping with the disinfectant. So that probably touched something while I was wiping it. Yes, it has a, a barrier, but I still wipe from here to here, right? Because that you can. 
yeah, just in case you're wondering. But anyways, just some little tips for you guys about silver diamine fluoride. Don't forget the fluoride varnish. I had bought these both from Oral Science. Love the company. I have pretty much everything from them. They are amazing. They are based on prevention, which is what a dental hygienist is all about, right? Oh, I can still taste it, you guys. Oh my God. I know what my poor patients are talking about. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you have any questions.